Hey everyone, it's Sarah. Um, today I have a second part to my to a swap. Um, I did a video yesterday, which you should have already seen, and um, yeah, this is from my friend Andy from Facebook that we did a swap, and yeah. I'm excited. So the first part, I had gotten a few Mirabella palettes and a Revlon palette and some glitter. And she said that this is like a package. So I got that one today. It was separate from the first one. Like they didn't get here on the same day or whatever. But that's fine. It's like excitement for all the days. So I'm going to open it on camera and see what else we have. I'm so excited. This one is in a mailer where whereas the one yesterday was in a bubble wrap um bubble mailer so this one is much larger so that means much more excite it's a package inside of another package Okay, so one down, one to go. This is the easiest way to tackle this. All oh, the duct tape. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull stuff out and show it to you. Okay, first we have a L'Oreal uh, True Match Roller. This is our color. It says neutral. It's like um, really creamy looking. So that like that. And actually, I'm surprised that our skin tones are very similar. That's so awesome! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Is this like like a foundation? I guess. I'm assuming it doesn't say. And next we have something that says mono. She's giving me mono. Um, ooh, these are like super gorge. Super pretty. A little dusty. So like this package was literally, like I live in an apartment and there's like a mail station with like, our mail cubbies are like, the, they're square and like really long. This was shoved in there. I was like yanking the crap to get it out. Like yanking the crap out of it. Okay, so this, these are pretty. So pretty. I want it to focus so that we can have colors. All the colors. They're so pretty. This says Viva Diva Eyeshadow Collection. There are grays and like a light gray, white, cream colors, beige, browns, like mauve colors, like green, forest green. Oh, thanks. That's so pretty. I've never actually heard of that brand. This is a something. Some sort of Mirabella product. Shimmer powder. Let's see if I can move this price. It's over the label. Afterglow shimmer powder. I'm not sure what that does. Is that a bronzer? I don't even know. Look how pretty. It looks shipped from like the mail, but it doesn't look used at all. Did you use this at all? What do I do with this? I don't even know. Yeah, it literally just looks like chipped from being like thrown around in the mail and that's it. Thanks. I will learn how to use it. Ooh, someone recently was doing a 
an empties video and they I think they use this they said the the eye primer in this is really good an illuminator and a primer with four shadows what's an illuminator is that like what you do like right here and like on the inside corner this is the New York or the New York color NYC palette Focus, there we go. This is so pretty. Thank you, I'm so excited to try all of the things. Oh, ooh. This is Alme Intense Eye Color Powder Shadow Smoky Eye for Blues. Although I have hazel eyes, so blues look really good in contrast. So, yes. This one looks chipped from the mail also but other than that barely used did you even use these because either I mean I don't mind if you did I just think that they're awesome and I'm so thankful there is I think there's two of these cover girls in here oh nope nope this one's just not even been opened. This is an eye enhancer. What is an eye enhancer? Is that like a shadow? Meltdown Mauve. This is my cover girl. I know that there's like a glare so I'm trying to so you can see the color. That's pretty. I'm not sure what to do with that either. And next we have loose the top came off. Loose powder. I think this is gonna what is this? Uh mineral foundation. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a true uh L'Oreal True Match powder foundation in soft ivory. Thank you. I'm so excited. I've never tried a powder foundation before. I've tried regular powder. This is a pressed bronzer from Hard Candy. I'm excited for this too. The pan can come out. <laughs> but yeah, this is not even chipped or it doesn't even look like the tech the brand new texture on it doesn't even look swiped or anything. That's so pretty. I know how to use bronzer, but I've never used it. Does that make sense? Thank you, I'm so excited. Okay, then we have Mirabella Basics Raffia. I'm not sure what this is either. What is this one? I don't know what this one is either. It looks like just like a face powder or something. Um, this one has powder all over it from the bag. Okay, this is Wet n Wild Ultimate Match Liquid Foundation. What color are you? Porcelain on the front. Okay, it's a lot lighter than what it shows on the outside. It's like... Oh, that's interesting. You can't even see it on my skin. Yeah, like you can't even tell. I know you're not going to feel it. a really good product. I didn't, I'm not sure if I've seen Wet Wild's line of foundations. Next we have an eyeshadow by Prestige. Is that the brand? Prestige eyeshadows in C51 Ebony. This one looks like maybe swatched. There's a shimmer in there. That's cute. 
That's so cute. I love dark shadows. Totally. <laughs> dark eyeshadows. So I am ex excited. Wet and Wild Coordinating Trio Shades. Brow, Bone, Crease, and Eyelid. That's cool. Walking on Eggshells. That's what this one is called. C380B. Okay. This is Brow, Bone, Crease, and Lid. That would be good as something to use like in some of my very first videos I want to try and do of doing like professional looking makeup on my face. So that will be awesome. Ooh, what is this blush? Pressed blush by Hard Candy. Thank you so much, Andy. This is so cool. I'm like super, super um Okay, word. Super spoiled, thanks. Blush. I haven't really used blush before either. This is so pretty. These don't have like color names. It's by Hard Candy. It just says pressed blush. So maybe they don't have more than a color or two. So that's a lot of makeup here. See? All the makeup. All the makeup. Yes, I am super happy with everything. I'm so excited that these like are my skin tone, because um, you know you you can be like, oh yeah, I think those will match, but you can't really be sure until you know you've tried it. So, want to see the yeah, even the the um the roller one like. You can't even tell, except for, why does that show weird here? That's just red on my knuckle. Yeah, you can't even tell, like, see? Yeah. And, I already did the wet and wild one, so let's see about the powder. The powder. It's all above the sifter and everything. Whoa. All the powder. Well, either way. <gasps> I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. That's going to work really well. So, all the excitement is going on right now. Thank you. Thank you, Andy, so much for the swap. I have been, like, anticipating it ever since we talked about it. And everything came in perfectly fine, um, except for maybe this this loose um, foundation. <laughs> but, I mean, it's it's fine. It just It's above the sifter, which, you know, I'll just have to be, like, really careful putting that on, the, on, the, on my blush, on my foundation brush. I have it everywhere. Oh my God. Okay, so thank you so much for everything. You are so awesome and super generous and never, definitely, definitely overcompensated for me. <laughs> but I really appreciate it and, you know, maybe we can swap again more on an equal, <laughs> equal level. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, and everybody else, um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I would really like you to subscribe and, you know, um, share with you. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.